The Warsangarli Sultanate was a Somali imperial ruling house centered in northeastern and in some parts of southeastern Somalia. It was one of the largest sultanates ever established in the territory, and, at the height of its power, included the Sanag region and parts of the northeast and Bari region of the country, an area historically known as Marka or the Marko Coast. The Sultanate was founded in the late 13th century in northern Somalia by a group of Somalis from the Warsangarli branch of the Darod clan, and was ruled by the descendants of the Garadidhan. In the late 19th century, the influential Sultan Muhammad Ali Shia governed the Sultanate, assuming control during some of its most turbulent years. The Akildeh who ruled south of Sanag, and some portions of the Beri region. In 1884, the United Kingdom established the Protectorate of British Somaliland through various treaties with the Northern Somali Sultanates, including the Warsangarli Sultanate. Although there is a dearth of historical testimony on Akil Deha, according to oral tradition, he fought against the Abyssinians. In honor of his accomplishments, Akil Deha's name is immortalized in the valley and mountains of the city known as Deha. Vestiges of a similar degree of centralized administration on the pattern of the Muslim Sultanate survive today in the protectorate among the Warsangarli. Prior to 1920, the Garad had at his command a small standing army with which, with British support, he fought Sayyid Muhammad Abdul Hassan's forces. But Garad's powers are dwindling under modern administration. Sultanates such as these generally only arose on the coast or through commanding an important trade route, and were largely dependent on the possession and control of a port or other exploitable economic resources. They were in direct trade and diffused political relations with Arabia, received occasional Arab immigrants, and were the centers from which Islam expanded with trade into the interior. The Sultanates had to fight to maintain their positions of supremacy against the periodic incursions of raiding parties of nomads and their authority was never great. In 1896, a challenge of leadership emerged between a father and son. The powerful Garad Ali Shire's authority was dwindling, and young Muhammad Ali Shire, with the tacit support of the Isgarad sub-clan of the Warsangarli Darod, sought to undermine the power of his father. Before then, internal conflict among the Warsangarli sub-clans had surfaced and had had an effect on Sultan Muhammad Ali Shire and his ascension to power. The disarray caused by the young Muhammad among the Warsangarli was finally settled by the proposal that Muhammad Fils should become Sultan, while his father could remain Garad. The Bihida sub-clan of the Warsangarli, however, withdrew their support for the Sultan, deeming him an upstart and an untested authority figure. They subsequently forged an alliance with the Somali religious and nationalist leader Muhammad Abdallah Hassan's dervish forces in an attempt to defeat Britain and Ethiopia, two powers that were then also vying for control of the Somali peninsula. In his paper The Mad Mullah in Northern Somalia, the historian Robert L. Hess touches upon this alliance, writing that an attempt to break out of Obian Mijatane Circle, the Mullah sought closer alliances with the Bihida Warsangarli of British Somali land and Bajari of Ethiopia. The first success in this Anglo-Italian cooperation came in December 1910. In that month, the British Warsangarli and the Italian Mijatin peacefully resolved all their outstanding disputes, and, convening in Bandukasim, agreed to act jointly in combating Sayyid Muhammad Abdallah Hassan and his dervishes. The Mijatana Warsangarli Accord led to a common offensive against the Mullah, whose forces were cut off from arms and munitions smuggled in from the coast. In 1920, the dervishes unexpectedly captured Badhan and besieged Las Khori. The British governor at Adensun sent RAF biplanes to contain the advance of the dervish army into the Warsangarli country. Though the airstrikes that bombarded Badhan, Jidali, and Talex never did considerable harm to the dervishes. The dervishes were still powerful, but disorganized and dispersed into unknown areas. Finally, the forces of Warsangarli and dervishes met at Jidali, and this was in fact the final decimation of the dervish movement.